Because of recent events, we have another opportunity to show the superiority of conservative media and in turn show the inferiority of left-wing media. The examples that prove my premise are ever-present, but every once in a while, a confluence of stories brings absolute clarity to this issue. The left-wing media meltdown reinforces conservative media's credibility. That's our focus in tonight's preamble. Our first stop is the home of left-wing bias in media, CNN. The far-left outlet's head honcho, Jeff Zucker, announced his resignation today after revealing that he had an inappropriate relationship with a senior executive at the network. The guy who turned MSNBC into the unfair left-wing megaphone of hate on cable said in a statement, quote, As part of the investigation into Chris Cuomo's tenure at CNN, I was asked about a consensual relationship with my closest colleague, someone I've worked with for more than 20 years. I acknowledge the relationship evolved in recent years. I was required to disclose it when it began, but I didn't. I was wrong. As a result, I am resigning today, end quote. Even though Mr. Zucker didn't reveal the identity of the person he is having an inappropriate relationship with, his own company revealed that her name is Allison Golist, the network's chief marketing officer and an executive vice president. Turns out that Golist, a veteran public relations expert, once worked as Governor COVID Cuomo's communications director. Insiders at CNN HQ told Radar that her past job with Cuomo and an admitted romantic relationship with the boss raises questions about the ethics behind Jeff Zucker initially protecting Cuomo's brother, Chris Cuomo, when it was revealed that he used CNN's resources to aid Governor Cuomo's defense from myriad accusations of impropriety. While we're at CNN, we have to talk about one of their remaining on-air personalities, little Brian Stelter. Little Brian is getting lit up on social media tonight over his complaint that people trust common sense podcaster Joe Rogan more than they trust CNN. The lack of trust in CNN is understandable as the network claims to be a news network, but in reality has become synonymous with unfair, biased coverage of news events. Here is the segment that made Little Brian once again a rich target for mockery. I want to show all kinds of opinions. Which sounds great, but not all opinions are created equal. You think about major newsrooms like CNN that have health departments and deaths and operations that work hard on verified information about COVID-19. And then you have talk show stars like Joe Rogan who just wing it, who make it up as they go along. And because figures like Rogan are trusted by people that don't trust real newsrooms, we have a tension, a problem that's much bigger than Spotify, much bigger than any single platform, Kate. But that's what is the heart of this right now. Okay, first off, Brian just admitted that CNN is not a news channel. He admitted that it's opinion when he said, quote, not all opinions are created equal, end quote. He then went on to bash his would-be audience by complaining that they don't trust his obviously slanted coverage, but they instead prefer Joe Rogan's fair approach, hearing all sides and allowing the audience to make up their minds. In typical left-wing fashion, CNN and Brian Stelter blame others rather than taking responsibility when their own actions cause things to fly off the rails. And that leads us to ABC's The View and Whoopi Goldberg. ABC has suspended Whoopi Goldberg after her inaccurate and anti-Semitic comments about the Holocaust not being about race. Now, this is going to come as a shock to some of you, but I disagree with this suspension. Whoopi Goldberg has a right to free speech, no matter how hate-filled or ignorant it is. It was wrong of ABC to give her a paid vacation of two weeks. Popular speech needs no protection. Real conservatives, real Americans, don't want to silence speech we disagree with. We want to debate it, combat it with more free speech. That's why Newsmax and other fair outlets are so crucial in providing balance to a media landscape dominated with left-wing, anti-American viewpoints. If I, as a conservative, will fight for Joe Rogan to allow him to have free and open discussions and debate, I will certainly support that for Whoopi Goldberg and the ladies of The View who support leftist policies and causes. I believe in the American values contained in this phrase. I may not agree with what you say, but I will defend your right to the death to say it. Little Brian Stelter with his declaration that not all opinions are created equal, he doesn't believe in that American principle. But I, your liberty-loving Latino, do. I also want to be clear that ABC is a private company. They have a right to have people on air who don't tarnish their brand or undermine their professed values. 
it's like the proverbial bakery owner who doesn't hire a person with tattoos from head to toe, you know, spiked pink hair, or ripped, torn clothing. That store owner has the right to hire people who project an image that that company wants to present to the public. If Whoopi Goldberg tarnishes ABC's brand, then she shouldn't be working there. But we all know that Goldberg is 100% in line with the corporate image that ABC wants to project. Left-wing, woke, and intolerant of conservative views. So the suspension of Whoopi Goldberg is, well, basically window dressing and an un-American silencing of her free speech. You know, not so long, long ago, our media made a half-hearted effort to ensure all sides were fairly and equally represented. Those days are long gone. Most of the media isn't even bothering to cloak their left-wing bias any longer. And that's what makes conservative media all the more important. On conservative media, you can actually hear from all sides. Left-wing media simply wants to silence anyone who doesn't support left-wing extremist orthodoxy. Consider this truth the next time you hear stories about Spotify or big tech working to suppress debate, silencing differing points of view, and supporting narrative over science. And by God, continue to support the outlets where American values of fair and honest debate that they are still protected, coveted, and practiced. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.